everyone, my name is Wang Zhiqing from the middle school attached to Sichuan University. Um, my topic is discrimination is everywhere. In March, a wonderful movie impressed the audience and is named Greenberg. In this movie, Greenberg is a guidebook written for African Americans. Because in the 1960s, there were a lot of places like restaurants or hotels that didn't allow African Americans in. So the Green Book seemed quite convenient for him, but it was a definite form of discrimination. So when I was saying the word discrimination, what do you think? Racial discrimination, African American, or people of color? Well, let's have a quick look at the definition of the word discrimination. As you can see, there are common types of discrimination, like discrimination against race or color, and we call it racial discrimination, right? But there are also some types of discrimination that we never realize in our daily lives. Have you ever heard of pregnancy discrimination before? I haven't. Now, I know some of you guys may think, I haven't been discriminated before, and I've never discriminated anyone. So, what does it have to do with me? However, the question is, does discrimination only have something to do with a small group of people? If you say, yeah, after hearing an example of me, you may change your mind. Not until last year did I realize how mean a girl I was. Because there's always a boy around us who is called Desi, and Obviously, it is people around him that fasten these hurtful nicknames just because they don't think the boy is that like a boy and they just wanted to have some fun. They never thought they were doing anything wrong. So did I. I was one of these people. I never realized I deeply hurt a boy and made him more like a lonely and introverted person until a boy like this came to tell me about his true feelings. He said, I was put alone for many times, countless. And after hearing his words, I was completely shocked and I thought to myself, you are a really bad girl. And at that moment, I got to know that I have discriminated someone. But, sorry. Even worse, I use the word sassy to describe a boy without being conscious that it is gender discrimination against women, which means I discriminated my, I myself. So ridiculous, right? And now it's clear that discrimination is everywhere. And in everyday life, people discriminate others unconsciously, and we call it microaggression. It can be directed at women, those with disabilities, religious minorities, and so on. Let me use some figures to illustrate how microaggression can influence the standard of living and quality of life for women and people of color. Statistics support the fact that white American males constitute only 33% of the U.S. population, yet they occupy approximately 80% of tenure positions in higher education, 80% of the House of Representatives, 80 to 85% of the U.S. Senate, 92% of Forbes 400 executive CEO level positions, 90% of public school superintendents, 99.9% .9 of athletic team owners, 97.7% of U.S. presidents. Therefore, the questions we must ask are, who are the culprits? And are these outcomes due to the over-racist? I contend that it is not the over-racist which control the tools that result in such unjust and damaging disparities. It is people we elect to office, teachers who educate the children, law enforcement, and government leaders who carry out the policies, um, physicians, dentists, and your neighbors, friends, and your family. It is kind people like you and I. You have the choice to refuse discrimination. So let's stand up and speak out and stop this phenomenon. Thank you.